Hello, I'm Maggie Coglin, editorial director of Page6.com, and 2020 is off to a crazy start, especially for our favorite Real Housewives. Need to catch up on the latest? Take a seat. Let's just each just have one glass of wine. <laughs> oh, it tastes so good. Let's break it down. These are the six hottest housewife stories of the week. So let's start off in New Jersey with a juicy exclusive, the very best kind. The Real Housewives of New Jersey finally aired the prom episode. Remember when those prom photos came out where Gia Judice took Frankie Catania as her date and everyone was left wondering if they were dating? Well, Dolores finally spoke out about it. She told us that it didn't blossom past a friendship because the timing wasn't right. She also said Frankie is single and just adopted a dog to keep him company. A man who looks like that with a dog? He is not gonna be single for long. But she didn't rule out a romance in his future, saying that she and Teresa are holding out hope it will happen down the road. Here's hoping these two get together because imagine what their season of Real Housewives would be. Real Housewives, the next generation? New Jersey has never looked better? This is great for them. But there's more Dolores news involving her ex-husband, Frank. She exclusively told Page Six why Frank, a former bodybuilder, will test his strength ahead of having surgery stemming from a fall. Dolores shared on her Instagram stories that Frank is being treated for detached kneecaps and for tears in his quadriceps. I came home late one day and I didn't do the dishes. Next thing you know, Dolores throws me down the stairs. Tell the truth, Frank. All right. He is having surgery this week, and she also shared that her current boyfriend, David, was with her ex-husband helping him out. David will stay in the hospital with him overnight until he goes in for surgery, she said. She added, I'm probably going to have to take care of him until he can walk again. These people are divorce goals. Or thruple goals? Whatever it is, we like their positive attitudes. And bonus news, Dolores is moving into her own pied -a terre in New York City. She exclusively revealed to Page Six that she's headed to the Big Apple for the summer. She told us, I always dreamed about living in the city. Sounds like she's got a hot girl summer coming up. In more New Jersey news, where people are not getting along so well, it is Joe Gorga versus Joe Judice. Joe Gorga was never a fan of his brother-in-law, Joe Judice. He stopped by Teresa's house on a recent episode of The Real Housewives of New Jersey and finally told his sister how he feels about her marriage. I never really thought you guys had a good relationship. Teresa told her brother that she was so f***ing drained from Joe saying the craziest shit to her. Like, I feel nothing for you and go find somebody else. That's when Gorga decided to speak up. Encouraging his sister, he said, So listen, if he's saying all these negative things to you, why don't you just move on in your life? And now, after denying cheating Buzz for years, Teresa finally revealed to her co-stars that she believes Joe was unfaithful in this week's episode. Listen, he had a separate cell phone with one girl. Do you know that for a fact? Yeah, I found it. In other news, Joe Judice has a new podcast. Why? Over to New York, where the trailer was released for season 12 of Roni. And it is wild. There's even some girl on girl makeout action. Who do they think they are? The OC? Let's take a look. Oh my God, what? Also happening in NYC, it's New York Fashion Week, people. If you couldn't tell. And the housewives are hitting the runway, starting with Jersey's own Melissa Gorga, who made her debut. And a Beverly Hills housewife is also strutting her stuff. Lisa Rinna walked with her model daughters at the Dennis Basso show. Just a queen with her two princesses, you know, casual. In Beverly Hills housewives news, Erica Jane has been in New York City rocking it out on the Broadway stage in Chicago, and some pretty big stars have come to see her. We were pleasantly surprised to see this photo of Janet Jackson visiting Erica Jane, along with Alexander Wang. Talk about a rhythm nation. I wonder if Erica called her Janet or Miss Jackson if you're nasty. <laughs> I feel like Erica liked that one. I mean, I, I do. In Atlanta news, 
Kenya Moore is in a good place with her ex, Mark Daly. Kenya and Mark's relationship is better than ever, even though they're getting divorced. This is a big week for divorced couples, take note. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star sat down with Sirius XM and revealed that she's in a great co-parenting relationship with her ex. She said, we're in a really good place right now. Our relationship has really taken a turn. He has been so kind to me, sweet, you know? How's your day? What's going on? Our relationship hasn't been this good in a really long time. The couple split up in September 2019, so that is some good news, I guess. Are we seeing a pattern this week? Is divorce the secret to a happy relationship? The housewives seem to think so. Thanks for watching, housewives fans. And if you want more, head to page6.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our podcast and a new and exciting newsletter, Evening Cocktails, with me, Maggie Coglin. See you soon. Bye.